Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to learning math skills with Kashif. So we are going to start our new topic and topic is related to basic geometry. So can you guess uh, what topic we are going to start if you are very much familiar with the basic geometrical figures like this what is the name of this shape can you guess yes the name of this shape is rectangle is this our topic no this is not our topic so what is the name of this shape that shape is called triangle is this our topic no it's not our topic similarly the last one is square that is also a basic shape of geometry but it is also not a topic so what is our topic today which chapter we are going to start that is circle the round shape is called circle so in this unit in this topic we will discuss about the basic parts of circle how to find the area or perimeter or circumference of a circle so we will learn these things first we are revise some basics concepts regarding circle some basics terminology terms which used uh, regarding area of a circle or perimeter of a circle then we will start our topic so first we will uh, revise our previous knowledge which we learned in the previous class so let's start our today's lecture so this is your circle a round shape is called circle and with the circle there is a center of a circle we call it a center of a circle and we denote it with any uh, caps lock cap capital letter sim uh, similarly just as i show in the figure that is o so i draw a line from center to the boundary of the circle so make it one thing clear this boundary is called circumference of a circle this circular boundary is called circumference of a circle so the distance from center to the circumference is called radius of a circle and we can name it like i name this radius is oa so i draw an other radius the name of this radius is ok i draw another radius that is om i draw another radius that is ob so if you look at the length of the radius all the lengths of the red four radius are same so radius of a circle is always remains the same the plural form of radius is called radii that is also uh, um, just uh, keep remember so now move forward for the next term that's a circle with center o and that is your radius which you learn just so if i extend this line to the other corner now the name of this whole line is changed now this whole line is called red diameter l b is a diameter o b is a radius if we it means it simply uh, tells you that if we double the radius we will get diameter the line passing through the center keep one thing in your mind the line passing through the center is diameter which touch the circumference in both ways so that is another diameter that is a k that is another diameter that is c p or p c that is another diameter that is m n so all the lines passing through the center is called diameter and diameter is double of radius so students till now you learn about the radius circle and diameter so i hope it is clear to you what is radius and what is the diameter of a circle so make it more clear that is your radius and that is your diameter the whole line is called the sum of radius double of the radius is diameter diameter is double of radius similarly if we multiply radius with the 2 then we get the diameter and radius is a half of diameter means if we half divided the diameter by 2 we will get our 
radius so like in this question the radius is given that is 15 centimeter and we want to find the diameter so we will simply multiply the radius with 2 so 15 to the 30 is your answer means if we double the radius we will get the diameter keep this thing in your mind it will help you to solve the questions coming to you in this chapter similarly we have another circle in this circle the diameter is given to you the length of the diameter is 36 centimeter and we are going to find radius so what will we do we will divide the diameter by 2 so we will get our radius that is 18 centimeter now what is the difference between area and perimeter we are going to find the area of a circle and perimeter of a circle in other words you can say circumference of a circle so what is the difference between area and peri perimeter <coughs> In geometrical shapes, area is measure of the space inside the shape. If we have any shape, the inside area of a shape is called area. And perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. In other words, you can say sum of all side. I can explain uh, you uh, with the help of sim simple uh, example. Suppose we have a lawn and we want to fence it then what we uh, what we uh, need we need its perimeter and if i want to uh, install a grass uh, on the lawn so how much grass we require then we find its area i mean inside the uh, space of a shape is called area and outer boundary the sum of all sides of a shape is called perimeter so you can uh, understand the difference between area and perimeter with a simple example we have a rectangle the length of the rectangle is 10 centimeter and width of a rectangle is 6 centimeter so its inner area is called its area area of a shape inside the shape so how can you find the area you can area simplify multiply length into width 10 into 6 that is 60 centimeter square is its area and what is its perimeter sum of all four sides that is 10 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6 that is 32 meter so it is clear to you what is the difference between area and perimeter that is two different terms so now come to the our actual topic that is circle so perimeter of a circle called circumference the term perimeter is used for the other geometrical figures but when there is a circle we use the term circumference circumference means that outer boundary is called circumference in other words you can say it's a perimeter area remains the same as in the other geometrical figures so now come to the next thing that is pi what is pi pi basically is a greek word and the value of pi is approximately 22 over 7 or 3.14 it's a, a new thing for you a new term for you what is this pi so for the understanding of the pi i will show you a activity which is given to you in your book so just look at the next video after watching this video it is clear to you from where we get the value 3.14 and why we get this value and how is it used in the circumference of our area to finding or the other thing the area of a circle so let's start the next video and watch it and you can do this activity which I did in the video you can uh, perform it by yourself at home so students uh, for this activity i have three circles look here one two and three okay so first we will find the diameter of all these three shapes circles as you know the diameter is the distance between two endpoints of a circle so if you look at the uh, this uh, circle this so its diameter is seven centimeter so we name them a we name this circle 
a and its diameter is 7 centimeter right so now we will take the uh, another diagram uh, circle that is this one so its diameter is 6 we name it b b so its uh, diameter is 6 centimeter now the third one is it's little bigger than both of you both of the uh, other uh, circles so its diameter is if you look at that is 9.5 so we name it c and its diameter is 9.5 so now we will find it their circumference as you know circumference is the total length of outer boundary so we i have a thread and with the thread i found its length and at the end i will measure it with the scale so in this way i found its length right so that is your circle a now i will measure the length of circle a that gives us total circumference so if i put the thread on the circle that is 22 centimeter that is 22 centimeter that is its circumference so now i take an other thread and found the circumference of b circle it's easier to find the circumference of a round shape rather than 2d so that's why i took this one so this is the total thread we use now i measure the length of the second the b1 so the length of the b is that is 19 centimeter that is 19 centimeter so now we have the third one c so we find its circumference with an other thread it's little bigger it's, it's larger so we will measure it its circumference with the help of this thread so in this way we find the circumference now we will measure its total length the total length of this is this is the older one that is it's a 30 it's little larger than 30 so i will write 30 30 centimeter so now we have the diameters and we find the circumference with the help of a thread and scale now simply what we have to do we have to do circumference divided the diameter so what is uh, we use calculator that is 22 divided by 7 so your answer is 3.142 a it's a recurring so i will write only one decimal that is 3.1 the second one is 19 divided by 6 now you got 3.1666 again i write only one decimal place again we have now 30 divided by 9.5 9.5 so 3.157 again i write 3.1 only the one decimal place now what is common here if i divide a circumference with different length of the diameters we, i will get the same value 3.1 3.1 3.1 so here if in this way you can understand where the scientists got this value of pi that is 3.14 means if the circumference of any length we divided with its diameter we always get 3.14 one for approximately in fraction form you can say we will get 22 over 7 so these this is the value of pi and how this 
the mathematicians got the value of pi that is 3.14 now you understand where this value comes from you can perform this activity at your home you simply you uh, required a scale a thread and three round shapes find their diameters find their circumference and divide and you will get all the almost approximately in the same answers so i hope you understand how we get the value of ya yeah, mathematicians got the value of pi that is 3.14 so students i hope you understand where we get the value of pi and that is 3.14 why we get this value that it is very much clear to you by watching the previous video so what is the formula for the circumference if radius is given to you that is very simple that is 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r or if diameter is given to you it means you have to simply multiply pi with the diameter and what is the value of pi that is 3.14 in decimal in other way you can say 22 or over 7 so both value is given to you in your relative questions the examiner or the books uh, told you about the which value you have to used if there is no value is given to you then it's up to you you can use 3.4 and you can use either 22 over 7 so let's start some questions solving from your book like there is a radius is 5 cm is given to you and uh, and you have to find the circumference of the circle with this radius so what is the formula for the radius for the circumference that is 2 pi r your r is 5 cm your pi is 3.14 and simply you have to multiply 2 with 3.14 multiply by 5 Five two is a ten. Ten when we multiply ten with three point one four, you will get three thirty one point four centimeter. That is how you find your circumference if radius is given to you, right? So now come to the next question. With from the same page, find the circumference if diameter is given to you. now the diameter is 35 cm is given to you and you have to find the circumference of the circle so which formula we can use pi d yani simply you have to multiply 3.14 with the given diameter and you will get your answer you can use the value 22 over 7 instead of 3.14 in this question i used one value of pi is 27 22 over 7 so 22 over 7 multiplied by 35 that is fraction form if you solve it 7 5 the 35 and 5 22 are 1 10 cm so i hope you understand today's lecture and you know you are able to find the circumference and area of a circle and you can solve uh, i think not the area we did not share the formula of area it will come in the next lecture today you learn about only about the circumference of a circle when radius is given to you and the diameter is given to you so your task is that if you want to uh, learn good mathematics so keep this thing in your mind the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics the only way to learn maths ko seekhne ke liye maths ko karna bahut zaruri hai so do practice uh, the questions regarding these topic this topic you learn today uh, that is from your textbook page number 123 and 124 and from your workbook page number 1 and 2 so i hope you understand and enjoy today's lecture so till goodbye till next lecture inshallah in the next lecture we will solve some questions from your textbook as well as your workbook assalamu alaikum